Ever since the film released, it was getting amazing reviews and garnered praises from one and all. I was predetermined to love this movie and the expectations were a bit too high for me. But things were a bit different too. Hi, this is Liddy and today I'm here after watching the 2023 Tamil movie Dada. The video has spoilers and so I would recommend you to watch the movie first before watching this video. The film starts very smoothly setting up the right mood and tempo for a feel-good movie. The long lingering shot closes in uh, on the lead characters Sindhu and Manigandan. The conversation between them makes us realize that Mani has never cried. That's the cue that filmmaker Ganesh gives to the audience that there will come a point where Manigandan would experience his first bout of tears. Manigandan promises Sindhu that he would never let her cry from that point on. Cut to the next scene, Sindhu is seen crying from her eyes out. When Sindhu tells him she is pregnant, Manigandan advises her to get an abortion. Sindhu refuses it and keeps the baby. But when the baby is born, she dumps both the baby and Manigandan and disappears. There are a few things that I really liked about the movie. Firstly, the premise, which aims to state what an unplanned pregnancy does to familial bonds. The characterization of Manigandan is also very convincing. The transformation from being an irresponsible college student to turning into a committed and responsible dad is well portrayed. Manigandan, played by Kavin, is impressive. His performance is yet another driving force in the movie and he is best when he shows his vulnerability without adding too much drama. However, just as we settle down and begin to expect more from this emotional story about this father and son, the film begins to travel in some cliched and tried and tested areas. It was quite predictable to see that Sindhu will make a comeback in the film as the character was so obvious, but it wasn't convincing to see that when she confronts her misunderstanding in the climax, she is apologetic and Manigandan is not. The viewers are expected to empathize with Manigandan and not with Sindhu at all. The second half, which is mostly filled with cliched comedies and unwanted characters, is sometimes annoying. Though the movie tries to address a father's relationship with his son, the son's relationship with his father is not really explored apart from showing a song sequence. An important scene featuring K. Bhagiraj and Aishwarya Bhaskar, who play Manigandan's parents, proves to be necessary, but it seemed very forceful in the narrative. Why Manigandan's father is so unreasonable? What is it that makes Manigandan's mother leave her son stranded and not make any contact with him till his brother's wedding is fixed? Had the writing been a bit more focused, Dada might have become more than what it settled to be. It nevertheless is an effort that is definitely worth a watch. It is a straightforward film that eventually puts a smile on some of our faces at least. Let me know in the comments what you felt after watching the movie and if you agree with me or not. Till then, thanks for watching the video.